Shalom, Ms. Parker. How about Shalom, family? Um, welcoming you this evening as we begin to go into our Erev Shabbat service. I want to take a moment to thank the Creator of heaven and earth for having keeping everyone, your family, your loved ones, your friends, those far and near, so that we may have been safe and sound during this time of turbulence. I say Toda Yah. Praise Elohim of heaven and earth. We will begin with reading Psalm 92, Psalm for the Shabbat day. It is a good to praise Yah and make music to our name, O Most High, to your name, O Most, Most High, proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night to the music of the ten string lyre and the melody of the heart. For you make me glad by your deeds, Elohim. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Yah. How profound your thoughts. Senseless people do not know. Fools do not understand. That though the wicked spring up like grass, and all the evildoers flourish, that they will be destroyed forever. But you, Yah, are forever exalted. For surely your enemies, Yah, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rout of my wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of Yah, they will flourish in the courts of our Elohim. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green, proclaiming, Yah is upright. He is our rock, and there is no wickedness in him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please turn to Psalm 125, another psalm for the Shabbat day. Those who trust in Yah are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so Yah surrounds his people, both now and forevermore. The scepter of the wicked will not remain. 
over the land allotted to the righteous. For then the righteous might use their hands to do evil. Yah, do good to those who are good, to those who are upright in heart. But those who turn to crooked ways, Yah, will banish with the evildoers. Peace be on Yisrael. Hallelujah. Torah Yah for that wonderful song. Now we read the next reading. Deuteronomy 6, 4 to verse 15. Hear, O Yisrael, Yah our Elohim, Yah is one. Love Yah your Elohim with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on the door frames of your house and on your gates. When Yah, your Elohim, bring you into the land, he swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Yitzchak, and to Yaakov, to give you a land with large, flourishing cities you did not build, houses full of all kinds of good things you did not provide, wells you did not dig, and vineyards and olive groves you did not plant. Then when you eat and are satisfied, be careful that you do not forget Yah, who brought you out of Misraim, out of the land of slavery. Fear Yah, your Elohim. Serve him only and take your oaths in his name. Do not follow other deities, the deities of the peoples around you. For Yah, your power, who is among you, is a jealous God, and his anger will burn against you, and he will destroy you from the face of the land. Torah Yah for all you've given. Thank you, Most High. As we set out on this Shabbat day, we want to give thanks to the Mo to Hanasi Sipor Ben Zavulin, the leader of Shema Yisrael, and Prince Natayel Ben Hanasi Sipor, who is the second in command. We give thanks and praises for everyone who is part of this house of Shema Yisrael. I also want to give thanks to my East, Chief Absalom Ben Shabon Ben Yisrael, and our loving Shalom and a heart well felt virtual hug to all my elders, the families, my brothers and sisters, and all the children of Yisrael. Just want to say hallelujah. Praise the name of the Most High God on this wonderful Arab Shabbat. Thank you, Yah. What I want you to do is turn to Habakkuk chapter 3. The title of this Arab Shabbat is Decisions, Decisions. We've all had to make decisions. And I remember a brief, brief lesson that was given maybe four years ago. I often reread lessons that were shared on Eda Shabbat. And I just, it, it, this stuck out to me because in this day and time of such indecisive actions, everyone has had to make a decision. Habakkuk is a song actually of praying to the Most High but he gives us strength to stay steadfast and strong through this turbulent time. Yet, it's a decision that we make to do so. It is a decision that we make to do all we can to still be in favor of Yah. It's a decision to let the Most High fight our battles. We must decide and accept that Torah is our constitution because man can't save you. We will decide if we're gonna be goodly or godly. 
And I thank Prince Nat for saying that. It was so powerful that I never forgot it. And it stays in my mind often. I always reflect on what we do as a people, a nation, and Yisrael affects others. Decision. You are making a conscious decision. I often remember that we are royalty. Are you deciding to be royal in your thoughts, in your action, in your deed, your words? Are you deciding to remain the most high's chosen? Are you deciding to have holiness and righteousness before you so that the name of the creator of heaven and earth will always be exalted? Decisions, decisions. Let us turn to Habakkuk chapter 3 and start at verse 1. Read along with me. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Let there be a blessing to the reading of your most precious word. Because Torah is our constitution. It is what we live by. May we remember that in all that we do. Oh, Elohim. I have heard thy speech and was afraid. O Elohim, revive thy work in the midst of the years. In midst of the years make known, in wrath remember mercy. Yah came from Timan, and the Holy One from Mount Paran, Selah. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise, and his brightness was as the light. He had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. Before him went the pestilence, and burning coals went forth at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. He beheld and drove asunder the nations, and the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetual hills did bow. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Kushan in affliction, and the curtains of the land of Midian did tremble. Was Yah displeased against the rivers? Was thine anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea, that thou didst ride upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation? Thy bow was made quite naked, according to the oath of the tribes, even Thy word, Selah. Thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. The mountains saw thee, and they trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice and lifted up his hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of thine arrows, they were sent. They will. They went, Selah and the shining of thy glittering spear. Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst thresh the heathen in anger. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for salvation with thine anointed. Thou wouldest the head out of the house of the wicked by discovering the foundation unto the neck, Selah. Thou didst strike with his staves, the head of his villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was as to devour the poor secretly. Thou didst walk through the sea with thine horses through the heap of great waters. When I heard, my belly trembled, my lips quivered at the voice rottenness entered into my bones and I trembled in myself that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he cometh up unto the people, he will invade them with his troops. Habakkuk rejoices. Although the fig tree shall not blossom, neither shall fruit be of the vines. The labor of the olive shall fail, and the field shall yield no meat. The flock shall be cut off from the fold, and there shall be no herd in the stalls. Yet, yet, 
I will rejoice in Yah. I will joy in the power of my salvation. Yah, God is my strength. And he will make my feet like hinds feet. And he will make me to walk upon mine high places to the chief singer on my stringed instruments. Hallelujah. Toda Yehovah for this wonderful, wonderful chapter. I love it. I want to focus on verse 19, just briefly, very, very briefly. <clears throat> Same chapter 3, verse 19. Lord, God is my strength. Yah, my power. Yah Adonai. Yah Sitkanu. Yehovah. Yohei Wafe is our strength. And he will make our feet like Heinz feet. And he will make us to walk upon our high places to the chief singer of our stringed instruments. The decision that I made to read Habakkuk 3 was through everything that we have witnessed on Facebook, uh, television, in person, through this crazy week, we've all made decisions to do better, be better, study better, exercise, everything. We've made decisions. Let us not ever forget in any decision that's made, Yehovah is first. Our creator is first. We talk about how we say prayers when we open our eyes before we get out of bed. And that's the first thing we do when the one o'clock bell go off or the 12 o'clock um, ringer rings, we say this prayer. The end of the day, we pray. But before we get to those times to say the prayer, was he first in everything else? Did we decide for him to be first? Or did he come as that second thought? Was he the decision in the meal that you prepared for Shabbat? Was he in the decision that you made to not be ill-prepared, like I almost was in preparing, in getting the assistance of my wonderful sisters, Namala and Reg, to help me prepare for Shabbat? What decisions did we make to bring glory to the Most High? With everything that I say, I, it's just so that we may think as we present our all in all or whatever it is we have to Yah, we have decided standing on concrete in our spirit, in our soul, that Yah is first. Decisions, decisions. In any decision that you make today, from here on now, it is the creator of heaven and earth. It is Adonai. It is Yah. It is our power. He's everything to me and to all of you. I know that. But he must. That is the decision we must make. Or the hand that is over the people will continue. Cry out, Israel. Decide to cry out. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you, Yah, for all that you've done, all that you continue to do for lifting up each and every person that I know that is deciding to do what they know is right. May they have that push. May they have that ruach to continue and stand strong. May they decide that nothing else matters but what you do. To have hinds feet is a blessing because that means in the smallest of crevices, we are able to stand. 
to go into those high places and no matter how high it is, y'all, we can don't have to look to the left nor to the right, but stay focused on you. We're deciding to do that. I thank and praise you for platforms such as this and that Hanasi support allows us to do this. And may it touch everyone, may it continuously touch that we reach out and be a blessing to everyone. Toda Yehovah also for Prince Nat, for delivering words from years ago that still stay on my heart because it is a decision that I'm making. For the time that we are part, Most High, keep us so that it is nothing but bursts of love when we see one another again. And that we all be safe and that our loved ones remain safe. And that we are deciding to just stay strong in you and keep that Torah before us. And if we should ever have a question or a doubt, may we reach out to a brother or sister that can guide us wholeheartedly to focus on your word. Thank you, y'all. I humbly as your servant. I just say thank you. Thank you for blessing me. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you. Hallelujah. Some words, some food for thought. <clears throat> Look through these. Just these are some words that will hopefully prayerfully uplift you. Amen. Amen. Pray, wait, trust. Pray, wait, trust. Decide today, Yesaya, or a decision will be made for you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat>